I think that car should be on that stand. I would buy that. What's your favourite bit then about it? My favourite bit about it? The paint. <laughs> no, it's too glittery the for me. The powertrain? It's actually too glittery. <laughs> <laughs> What is up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and good morning from the Geneva airport. I've literally just landed, went through passport control over there, jumped in a car and been driven to this airport, which I believe, based on the planes that are here, are for private jets, which should be quite interesting. Today, I have absolutely no idea what is going to happen. Roger Dubois have an amazing habit of not telling us anything of what we have in store. So today, I'm literally just going to roll the camera, try and capture my reactions as the day progresses, and then tomorrow, we're going to end up at the Geneva Motor Show, and I'm going to have my first look at the Geneva Motor Show 2019. <laughs> Now, when I said, uh, oh, snow's quite deep, that we landed on the side of a mountain, uh, oh, <laughs> it's uh, quite deep snow here. We literally did land on uh, the side of a mountain. <laughs> <laughs> so, for a morning activity, that was pretty special. So now we're at the top of the mountain, parked two helicopters on the side of the mountain. We've got two lovely dogs here sniffing the bush and three Roger Dubuis watchmakers up there. And I believe that we're about to have lunch and then learn the techniques so that then we can have a go at making our own watch at the top of a mountain. Right. <laughs> I'm about to put this, can you see that? In the middle of the watch. So like, like this? Oh, <laughs> I don't know why all of a sudden my, my hands have gone really shaky. How long does this take you? to do. To do, do, to do that? Yeah. Oh, maybe 30 seconds. <laughs> 30 seconds. One minute. <laughs> now you can just... Okay, it works. It works? Yeah. Yes. I've just built a Roger Dubuis watch with rubber things on my fingers. And I reckon I've probably damaged the watch about four or five times. So, it's going well. That is a pretty warm welcome to the Geneva city centre, the Apollo with that screaming V12 in stark comparison, a 918 in full electric mode. But now we make our way to the Geneva Motor Show. I have 120 minutes to do my best at getting around the entire show. So onwards to the Palexpo. We find ourselves at the Mansory stand, which splits opinions every single year with their kitchen top carbon fiber but this is I think my favorite Mansory car of this year they haven't done too much to it by the looks of it they've done a front bumper wheels I love that paint here we have quite a wild Lamborghini Urus that will definitely stand out is it controversial that I actually quite like that front end here we have a man stood Hi. next to a, a car you pro probably wouldn't expect you to uh, be standing next to. Hey, I'm coming this, and have a look. This is a little it's bit like the spec. Exactly have you seen the interior? Is, yeah. <laughs> this is exactly the way you do it. Sparkly, styrofoam. Blue, a bit more blue, some yeah. glittery blue, and some extra metallic blue. Sounds and like some your carbon center. fiber. And some Porsche carbon. <laughs> yeah. I, might go, I might go for the normal kind of normal traditional weaved carbon fiber. 
So Wait, is, why not? Is, is this the moment that I've caught you on Would the Mansory stand? No, 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 no. Do you know what I think? Lending really your Senna to Mansory to do some bits. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. But what I find really interesting is that this is no more crazy than the Devo. Is it really? Well, well Parker disagrees. I think the Devo is a bit more. I think the Devo comes together in a more attractive. Okay. Pack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. a bit more it's classy. equally varied yes. for Shiro. Yes. 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 I'll give you that. More cars from the wonderful modified world. The Lamborghini Urus definitely is a popular car for the modded car scene because it is a massively popular car going to come from Lamborghini. It's got a weird shark on the grill down there. Now in previous years I've always fussed over the supercars and hypercars that are unveiled and this year I feel like everyone is bringing their A game. In some years, like last year for example, I mean there wasn't that many highlights from the show. However, one manufacturer that I've never cared about coming to Geneva is Peugeot. But this year, for some reason, their new 208 is incredibly impressive. So I need to try and find the Peugeot stand because I want to see the Peugeot 208. Don't know why I'm saying that. Now we come to Pinaferina where they have launched this. And I have to say, it's stunning, but still looks too much like a Ferrari. If that had two circular rear tail lights it, it would just be a Ferrari. What the hell is this company? But these cars have caught my attention. It's kind of a mixture of like a Lycan merge with a 720S. Right I'm filming this because I've never seen anything quite like it. What, the, what is that? The EZ Ultimo. Now this is what is ultimately crazy about the Geneva Motor Show. If Bentley had come with this, this would be the talk of the town. It's got a bloody armchair in the middle. This is literally a moving living room that I'm assuming is an autonomous thing. If this is where the future of automobiles are going, then I am all for it because look how ridiculous this thing is. But like I said, if Bentley had come with this, everyone would be screaming about it. But because Renault have come here, it's a shame that, I mean, there are a few people here, but it's not getting anywhere near as much coverage as some of the other stuff is up there but imagine having one of these parked outside your house it's just insane and would you look at this here we have the ferrari stand where every year these get the biggest crowd whatever car they are launching hands down they get the biggest crowd ferrari kill it every single motor show the last time they launched the pista and i think it was about six or seven people back it was absolutely crazy and here we have the new or new f8 tributo launched in the same boring colors that they launched a 488 spider in that blue and a red with uh, silver wheels i have to say though visually it's a cool looking thing looks a bit like a 488 there i'm not gonna lie but that new front end I really quite like. I think that's smart. I think it's revolutionary. It's nice to see Ferrari going in that sort of direction. Yeah, see, I definitely think this is cool. It is a step up from the 488, which I think will look very, very dated, very quick compared to that, M dating the 458 even more. But I do like it, not in that color. I wouldn't have it in that color. And I definitely wouldn't have it in that red over there. But yeah. I'm very sorry, Mazda, for walking across your booth but I see Peugeot. What the hell is this? It's like, oh, that is cool. What is that? The E-Legend concept. Peugeot, build it now. Look at the wheels. Jesus Christ. Let's have a look at what it looks like from the front. I would buy that. I would buy this. I want it. It's like old school, look at their wing mirrors. They're not gonna get homologated for the road. The seats, this is the coolest thing I think is at the show. Yeah, like this. Can I take his photo? Oh my God. Smells amazing. Not that you can capture that on YouTube videos, but this is, the, this is now that is the coolest car of the show. And here we go, 208 GT line. That is genuinely a car that I'd actually buy. The 208 Allure, is that the luxury? GT line. 
I actually, I actually want one of these. Super futuristic inside. It's not so much. That's out of a car from 2008. But look at the rear. When these start hitting the road, Audi A1s are finished. But oh my god, look at Lamborghini. This is the first year that it is like open. So you can just walk on. Evo Spider. Now this green, that is sexy. Hurricane Evo Spider. Oh, look at the seats. They are the new sports seats that I believe come in like small, medium and large. And they've got all sorts of different adjustments. Now, there are too many people filming here for me to go ahead and step up on there. But I'm going to go and have a look at this SVJ Roadster real quick. I love this colour. The spec is beautiful. White seats, white details all around. Got the white pinstripes down there on the front bumper. Carbon fibre everywhere. Oh, look at the SVJ. Here we have a wild JWW. <laughs> He's filming. <laughs> this has been the maddest 60 minutes ever at a Geneva Motor Show. There are so many cameras, there are a lot of people, everyone getting in each other's ways, and I'm just trying to sneak through. But, ladies and gentlemen, I believe that we have completed the challenge and I think the Peugeot concept, the Aston Martin Vanquish concept, and it's between the Aventador SVJ, no, no, I'm not gonna take the Aventador SVJ Roadster because I know I can't afford it. I'm gonna go Peugeot 208 because that is surely the ultimate city car. It's just so cool. I don't know why I love the Peugeot 208, but there we go, ladies and gentlemen, Geneva Motor Show rounded up in 60 minutes. Actually, I'm gonna quickly show you the new Kern exec as I make my way back to the Lamborghini stand. I need to show you this. I can't come to the Geneva Motor Show and not show you the new Kern exec, which is wacky as hell. Oh my God. There we go, quickly to finish it off. <laughs> That's about as quick as it gets. Safe to say, it looks better in person than it does in photos because when I saw the photos on Instagram of that car, didn't think it looked that good. But there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already for this mad, mad time at the Geneva Motor Show. I'll see you soon, guys. Goodbye from me, Roger Dubuis, and Lamborghini. That rhymes. Cheers, guys. Bye.